Number 12, a physician orders 100 grams of 2% hydrocortisone ointment. 1% and 2.5% strengths are in stock. How much of each strength is needed to prepare this order correctly? A, 67 grams of 2.5%, 33 grams of 1%. B, 33 grams of 2.5% and 67 grams of 1%. C, 55 grams of 2.5% and 45 grams of 1%. Or D, 45 grams of 2.5% and 55 grams of 1%. And the answer is A, 67 grams of 2.5% and, and 33 grams of 1%. Way to work this problem, first recognize that it's an allegation problem. We have two concentrations given and we're looking for a different one that's, that's in between the two concentrations we have. So to solve, we can use the ratio method or the tic-tac-toe method, and I'll show you both. With the ratio method, um, first we're going to identify the HC, which is the high concentration, it's two and a half percent. The low concentration, or LC, is 1%, and the desired concentration, or DC, is 2%. Now we need to subtract to get a ratio of HC to LC. So we take the DC minus the LC, and that will give us our HC ratio value. Then we take the HC minus the DC, and that will give us our LC ratio value. So if we do the math here, um, for the HC ratio value, we take 2 minus 1, that gives us 1. And for the LC ratio value, we take two and a half minus two, and that gives us 0 0.5. Um, now we need to get the total parts. So we add those together, one plus um, 0.5 gives us one and a half total parts. So you can see our ratio of HC to LC is one to 0.5. So now to um, determine our amounts, we take our high concentration amount, our high concentration ratio over the total and multiply it by the quantity needed. So we have um, 1 is the HC ratio, 1 is our HC value. So 1 over the total is 1.5 times 100 gives us 66.7. We can round that up to 67. So that's 67 grams of the high concentration, which is the 2.5% we'll need. And then for the low concentration, we take its ratio value of 0.5 divided by the total 1.5 times 100, the amount that we need, um, and that gives us 33.3, so we'll round that to 33 grams of the 1%. Now we'll look at the tic-tac-toe method for this problem. Um, first, we start with a tic-tac-toe grid, and we put our HC in the top left, our DC in the very center, and our LC in the bottom left. Now we're gonna take the difference diagonally. So the difference between the LC and the DC will be written in the top right, and the difference between the HC and the DC will be written in the bottom right. We'll add the, that column, and that gives us the total parts. Then we're going to get our um, HC fraction. Um, we're going to put it over the total parts, multiply that by the quantity needed, and that will be the amount of the high concentration needed. We'll do the same thing for the low concentration fraction. We'll take our LC parts over the total parts times the quantity needed, and that will give us the amount of the low concentration needed. So now we'll plug those numbers in. So um, our high concentration in the top um, left is two and a half. Our desired concentration is two. We put that right in the middle. And then the low concentration is one. We put that in the bottom left. Now we do our subtraction to get our, um, our fractions, and one, um, the difference between one and two is one. That will be our HC fraction. And then the difference between the two and a half and two is 0 0.5. That will be our LC fraction. We put those in the, on the right side, the top right and then the bottom right. We add those to get our total parts. So our total parts is 1.5. So our HC fraction will be 1 over 1 1.5 times 100 grams. That's how much we, we need. And that gives us 66.7 grams, which rounds up to 67 grams of the 2.5%, the high concentration needed. And for the low concentration, it's 0 0.5 um, over 
the total parts, 1.5 times 100, that gives us 33.3 grams. Round that to 33 grams of the low concentration needed, or the 1%. Thanks for watching. For more practice test questions, click below to see my full length PTCB Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam practice test that includes 90 questions with explained answers. And if you find this video useful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.